Hey folks, so today we're working on this thing here, this 99TJ of mine. As you can see, the tires stick out quite a bit from the factory flares. I'm running big tires on this, they're 33 by 12 and a halfs, and because they're uh, so wide, they have a big offset on them to keep them from rubbing, and the offset's like, well, it's not big, it's four and a quarter inches. Even though I, I, I like the way it looks, it makes a big mess, and it runs the potential of giving me a ticket. So, I ordered myself some flares. Let's check them out. It, it's an OEM style flare, but it's 7 inches wide. This kit's nice because it comes with all three pieces for each side. It comes with the front, that little side guy, and the rear, of course. I guess I'll start pulling my old ones off and figure out what I need. That's the old flare and the new flare side by side. Quite a bit wider, as you can see. I like these because they accommodated these corner markers, too. Yeah, yeah that's also nice, too, because I get they actually look black. They're not all gray and faded like these ones. I'm going to disconnect the light that's in here. Just get it out of the way. <laughs> it's pretty tight in here. A little penetrating oil in the back of these rusty screws doesn't hurt. So these little guys are 5 sixteenths or 8 mil. What's holding these on, it's this 8 mil screw with a uh, really big washer on it. On the back side, there's no nut. It's this little plastic, <sighs> it's a fucking hunk of plastic. So uh, with some of them, you'll find that they want to, they might spin when you go to loosen these. So you might have to grab the backside with a pair of pliers, a little pair of channel locks or something will do it. To get better access to the hardware, I cut off the outer lip of the flares with a sawzall. This really saved a lot of time. If you have nice paint, take care not to scratch it. Or get your wife to do it. So you can blame her. <laughs> On the last couple of bolts, instead of those plastic backing, the little plastic nuts, I guess, it's got these inserts, these plugs that are stuck in the sheet metal. In my case, the bolt is seized right to it, and these things just spun in the sheet metal. So I just pulled them out, and uh, we'll figure something else out. But it, it's off. Ta-da! You don't need to save your old ones. Just, I mean, mine are all cracked and faded. Nobody wants those. Just fucking cut them. Makes it way faster. Ah, I didn't think this came with hardware, but look, it does. And uh, nice hardware, too. Uh, so that's good. Hooray, new hardware. That'll make things easier. Old flares are all off now. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to show you guys, well, there's a couple of things. When you get to the back here, I had this fender liner, and, uh, if yours is all mushed and messed up like mine, or maybe even if it's not, you, you should be able to just kind of push it out of the way. It doesn't really bolt to anything up here. It's kind of just in there, so you can push it over and you can get to those little plastic nuts at the back. And so some of these nut certs, you know, it, it, if it's an older Jeep like mine, they're going to be rusty, and the nut certs might just spin in the hole when you go to take the bolt out. So, good luck. Uh, I ended up... Uh, I just ended up having to pull them out. If you pull them out and the metal gets a little mushroomed out, just take a little hammer and tap it in. This sheet metal here is really thin and bends easy. This stuff's a little thicker. It takes a little more abuse. So if you're careful with the hammer, it won't matter. Just throw some paint over after so it doesn't rust. And that's it. I'll show you how to put those nut certs in in a second here. Okay, nut certs. Now, if you're wondering, I just threw some rust paint over top of these bolt holes. You won't see it, and uh, I just wanted to kind of stop some of this rust that's starting before it gets too crazy. Anyway, nut certs. You're going to end up with these little things in your kit, if it came with them. And all it is, I just got a little bolt here, a little 8 mil bolt and this nut cert. And what you need to do is you need to either go buy the tool or I've got this little spanner for like an old grinder or something like that. And it's kind of the perfect size. Uh, 
you, you could make this too. You just drill a little hole that's just slightly bigger than the bolt, like quarter inch or something. Looks like it should work. Anyway, so then what you do is you just stick it through the hole of this guy, thread your nut insert on completely, you just stick it in the hole. Now this handle is important because it helps you keep this nice and flush against the metal. Keep it in the hole all the way and start tightening it. Now, we'll, I'll explain what we're doing before we go too far. As you're tightening it, you can see it, well, you can see it's already kind of started. The bolt actually pulls and crushes this little nut insert and makes the back of it flare out and it kind of looks to me like it's already kind of starting right at the shoulder of this. But yeah, so that's all you do. You just keep cranking on it, you know, and then use the handle to kind of test it as you go to see how tight that nut insert is getting. You want it in there good because you don't want it spinning when you're trying to tighten in your new bolts or you'll be really upset. So you can see it's starting to get, starting to expand. Once you got it in as, as far as you need to, or as far as you think you need to, I, I don't know the exact science to this. There might be torque specifications for these, but I, I don't know what they are. Simply back out your bolt. There you go. Your ugly nut cert is installed. While you're sticking these on, uh, I'd recommend doing the, the front one first and then just start tight, get them all in, hand tight, you know, kind of loose and floppy, you get it all in, and then just tighten them from the front to the back. And then when you get this side piece on, it's going to seem like it's not fitting, uh, but all you got to do is just take your fender here and give it a push like that. I don't know if you can see. It bends, it's nice and floppy. And when you, when you push on it, it gives you lots of room to get this in and get the bolts lined up with the holes. So yeah, that's all you gotta do for that. So here we go, my seven inch Onyx Ada OEM style flares are installed and I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with how they look. They, they fit pretty good. They were a bit of work to get on, uh, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, the biggest thing was struggling with the hardware if you're going to do this and you plan on replacing all of your hardware, I'd recommend buying some extra nut certs because they didn't include enough to replace every single one in the kit. They gave me enough of the screws and the plastic nuts, but the uh, not enough bolts and not enough nut certs. As you can see, my tires are just inside them. They might even be uh, sticking out slightly but it's so slight, I would be pretty upset if I got called on it. Uh, again, the front here, I mean, these are the widest flares I could find in this style. Most of them are six inch. So if you're running 33s by 12 and a half, or probably any 12 and a half inch tire, and you've got uh, a four and a quarter inch offset like me, these will work like a charm. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you like this video, and I hope you subscribe. We'll see what else we gotta fix on this thing next. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, uh, and have a wonderful day. Ha <laughs> ha.